USA Radio News with Robin Walensky. President Trump announcing a budget and debt ceiling deal reached with Democrats. He tweets, I'm pleased to announce a deal has been struck with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, and House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy on a two-year budget and debt ceiling with no poison pills. The president goes on to say, this was a real compromise in order to give another big victory to our great military and vets explanation point. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin had been warning of hitting the debt ceiling in the next few weeks while lawmakers are out on summer break. In other news, President Trump meeting with the Prime Minister of Pakistan at the White House and has asked about the upcoming Mueller testimony Wednesday. The president saying he might watch a little of it. You're listening to USA Radio News. Credit reporting firm Equifax reaching the largest settlement in history with the Federal Trade Commission following that massive breach back in 2017. The company will pay up to $700 million to settle lawsuits, private information pertaining to 150 million people released. Credit reporting company Equifax will pay as much as $650 million to settle state and federal investigations into the enormous data breach in 2017. The CEO, Mark Begor, explains what the settlement means to the company. This comprehensive settlement was a priority of ours and is quite unprecedented to bring so many groups together. And the second priority of ours and the regulators was a single consumer fund. And it was really a focus on, you know, doing the right thing for consumers. The breach is believed to have compromised over 143 million Americans' personal information, including social security numbers. They still don't know who carried it out. For USA Radio News, I'm Chris Barnes. This is USA Radio News. Taking a look now at Wall Street, the Dow gaining almost 18 points to close at 27,171. The Nasdaq gaining 57 points, the S&P 500 up 8 points. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo with an announcement about a Chinese company doing business with Iran. USA Radio's Tim Berg with the story. Pompeo was attending the annual VFW convention in Orlando, Florida. Pompeo announced that the U.S. will be imposing sanctions on a Chinese oil trader company for accepting Iranian oil. We said all along that any sanction will indeed be enforced. We can't tolerate more money going to the Ayatollah, putting American soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines, and putting their life at risk. The sanctions are imposed as tensions remain high between the United States and Iran. We've all heard of sick days, now the state of Oregon allowing students to take mental health days. USA Radio's John Hunt explains. A new law in Oregon allows students to take mental health days now, just as they would sick days. The teens behind the bill say it's meant to respond to a mental health crisis throughout all schools. Governor Kate Brown signed the measure into law. The Oregon Health Authority reports suicide as the second leading cause of death among those in the state ages 10 to 34. Nearly 17 percent of eighth graders say they've considered taking their own life within the last 12 months. Haley Hardcastle is an 18-year-old from suburban Sherwood who introduced the bill along with other student leaders. She says it changes the stigma around mental health and encourages kids to be honest with their parents if they're struggling. For you, USA Radio News, I'm Robin Walensky.